Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Monopoly Yellowstone. This is by Paramount Pictures, The OP Games, and Hasbro. This attaches the popular series of Yellowstone with the popular title of Monopoly. The rules are mainly the same with some unique changes as far as how the things are stated. And of course, there's some unique rules that can speed up the game along the way. I'll give you the basic setup. I'll give you the rule structure and of course my review. Just like the original game of Monopoly, you're going to be selecting one of these fine items here to represent your character on the game board. Select either the iron, the hat, the saddle, the oxen, the belt, or the rope and place it on the ghost base on the bottom left hand corner of the board. Then you're going to have these guys here. These are hotels and ho houses, now categorized as wranglers and foremen. You'll also take the two dice and place them down in the middle of the game board with the reach of all players. Take the we don't choose the way cards and the protect the land cards shuffle them up and place them in these spots indicated on the game board everybody is going to be getting money in the game and you'll check the rule book and it'll tell you how many you're going to be getting based on what denominations you'll get two of these 500s four 100s 150 120 two tens one of these fives and five ones then the rest of the money is going to be set aside in this box here. This box is going to come with an insert indicating all the different types of currency as well as each of the different locations you can purchase in the game. And it's all nice and set up in this insert here. After that, you're basically ready to go. Make sure you choose one player as the banker who distributes all the funds, who helps give all the properties out, and basically has control of the whole box and where are these different locations and currencies are going to go throughout the game. Like many Monopoly games, this plays similar to all of those as well. There are name changes for each of the different locations on the board that represent the different Monopolies and titles slash deeds you'll be acquiring as you play. Additionally, instead of having the train stations, they're now going to be vehicle stations stations. Instead of the electric and water, you'll have the Minnesota Livestock Association, and over here is the Broken Rock Police Station, and these function just like electric and waterworks would. There's the go-to-jail space, there's the free parking, which does nothing in the base game, and then of course you have the income tax and property tax, or rodeo, rodeo entry fee and property tax. The main difference is that the property tax, instead of saying 200 or 10 percent, now just states $200, which makes it a lot easier. No more having to calculate that 10 10%. And that's pretty much it as far as the changes go. I mean, I'll go into some of my review, the different uh, the different works, reworks of the speedy version of the game. But as far as this game goes, you will take the two dice, you will roll the dice, you will move along the game board based on the roll, and then you will select to either purchase the item slash property, spend money for any of the taxes, go to jail, end up on the free parking space, or draw a card, whether it be we don't choose the way on a space like this, or whether it be to protect the land on a space like this. If you get around the game board, you're going to get $200, and every single time you do, you will get $200, and the game will end when everybody has gathered their properties, and then eventually one person has made everyone else bankrupt. And it's the traditional version of Monopoly. I think most people know how this game works, so I'm not going to go into too much depth and detail as to Monopoly. Let's just talk about what I think about it. So the first thing I want to talk about in this game is that on the back of the rules, it will give you speed rules. Uh, the first thing about the speed rules is during the prep, you can simply have the banker shuffle the property deeds and deal out three randomly to every player. The next thing you can do is uh, instead of incorporating three, uh, four regulars and then having the four men come out, basically the hotels and then the, uh, or the, the houses and then hotels, you only need three as opposed to four in order to get this hotel. So you can speed that process along. Uh, if you land on the go to jail, there are three ways you can get out. The first way is you can choose to roll doubles uh, or attempt to try and roll doubles up to three times in three subsequent turns. The next way is by spending one of the cards in either of these decks so that gets out of jail free. And the other way is you spend $50 and on your next turn you get to roll and move out. If you do the speedy version, you're simply going to spend 50 bucks and continue moving. And the last and most important thing to the speed round is when one person runs out of money, meaning that they have basically lost all of their properties, they've all been in foreclosure, they have no more cash to spend, and they land on a space they cannot afford, that will trigger the end of the game. And the player with the most money is the winner. It's a nice sped up way to play the game. And of course, it changes the way you're going to be thinking about what properties to pick up based on which ones you already have. And of course, how to win the game by securing your fortune and making just one person lose theirs.
The Yellowstone IP attached to Monopoly I think works very well. This is a cowboy slash western theme that incorporates all the different locations from the show Yellowstone. It's going to incorporate the different types of vehicles that are used and the different types of associations that will come incorporated in the show Yellowstone. Still going to have the go to jail which is part of the show and happens quite a bit. And uh, the same rules apply as far as most things go. Some Monopoly games have unique twists and turns to the rules. This one here just has a speed variant, but for the most part, everything else remains the same. As far as my review goes for Monopoly, it's pretty simple. For any of you who like classic Monopoly style games, you're going to enjoy Yellowstone. There's not enough changes to make this game any different or any unique in comparison to any other Monopoly game, minus the speed rules, which still makes the game play out the same way. Uh, but if you enjoy that style of Monopoly, the basic original classic, not Monopoly Gamer or Monopoly Mario Party, or any of those other variants to the titles, uh, this is going to be the classic style of Monopoly, and you're going to enjoy this for what it is. I am not a huge fan of Monopoly. I don't like the uh, aggressive nature of the game and how people in my group can tend to get a little too um, shady with their deals, so to speak. But, 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 with the speed variant of the game, which is the one we played, since I've played Monopoly enough times to know how I feel about, feel about it, the speed variant changes things up and makes it a lot quicker, makes it a lot nicer, makes it so that once one person is out, they don't have to sit around and go and play <laughs> Mario Baseball, which is what I did on my, when I played when I was 18, the last time I really, really wanted to play Monopoly, and I got out first on my birthday when everybody else was playing and I went and played by myself in the room, uh, it removes that aspect of the game. I would have been out, the game would have been over. So maybe people would have given me some more deals to secure their victory. It changes up how people choose to incorporate or work with other players because they don't want somebody to get out, even the lowliest of player, if they are not on top when the game ends. And that little change makes this game a lot better. It's a lot quicker, and there's more social experiences involving trades. People will have to want, we're going to have to want to trade you if they have a property that you want, but they maybe don't want one of yours, but it's worth it so that you don't just get out of the game. Now, we'll talk about this as well. This is the game insert, and this is one of the better versions of Monopoly with a beautiful, wonderful insert. It incorporates all the different pieces that you can place from here into here. All the currency values can be placed over here, and of course, all the properties are face up here, which you can see quite easily. Uh, the hotels are the basic plastic pieces along with the houses, but we have these nice metal pieces that incorporate the TV show into the game, as opposed to a wheelbarrow, you're going to get an iron. As opposed to a doggy, you're going to get an ox. And these are all really well done, really well made, and very, very nice. It feels good to hold these pieces and move them around. Uh, the cool changes to the board and associated cards with the show Yellowstone is a nice touch, and I appreciate it. My wife is very, very, very into the show, and because of that, she got to experience the game in a new way, utilizing characters and, of course, places from the show that she had previously seen. Overall, it's a wonderful little experience if you enjoy Monopoly and you want to twist with a cowboy theme and if you're a big fan of the game Yellowstone. If you do not like Monopoly, the classic version of Monopoly, this is not going to sway your instincts on the game. It will not change enough for you to go ahead and want to jump and pick up this version. And if you just want to play the quick rules variant, you can now take out your own original classic Monopoly and play just as you would Monopoly with those new rules I have now stated. Uh, there's no need for this to be purchased in order for you to do that. Now, that being said, those of you who like Yellowstone, it's a pickup if you like Monopoly as well. If you don't like Monopoly, this is a game to stay away from. It's really gonna be up to you. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Yellowstone Monopoly by Hasbro and Paramount, and of course the OP Games. If you like this video and you'd like to pick up this copy of Monopoly, go ahead and head over to the link down below in the description where you can go ahead and pick up your own copy of Yellowstone Monopoly. One thing I didn't talk about too much was the artwork and stylization of the board. I think they did an excellent job of that, and I really, really like the way they incorporated the Monopoly logo and title into the artwork for Yellowstone. All the characters are there, and it's really, really cool how they presented this. That's pretty much all I got. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button if you want to see more content, if you have seen more than one video with me, and you appreciate what I do, and I have earned your subscription, go ahead and push that button if you want the notification bell as well. It really does help, and we do greatly appreciate it. Every Wednesday on Whatnot at 6.30 p.m. PST, we give away and sell games, and every Sunday at 6.30 
600p and PST, we go live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch and show you games just like this one so that you can decide for yourself whether you'd like to pick up a game. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to visiting Yellowstone with you next time.